Hello, everybody. Welcome back uh, to game two uh, for today, which is uh, we've changed up the commanders a little bit and also uh, <laughs> uh, whether or not these decks were ac actually uh, pre-built uh, because uh, Shannon's got some some interesting things going on. Uh, Shannon, you want to actually just talk about what you oh. what you're playing? Uh, uh, yeah. Shannon's isn't updated. Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm, yeah, I've Shannon. noticed something's up with the, uh, the UI. It doesn't seem to be removing my first partner and replacing it. Let me try and type in something else and see if it changes off of Tevesh Sot. Uh, let me just set it to Silers and then and then re-trigger the partner. There we go, partner. And then the second one will be Rayhan. All right, there we go. Hey, All right. Hey, cool. So, okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so I am drawing, I, you know, I heard I heard uh, uh, Chris over uh, and uh, Commander Mechanics saying he's going to down, he's going to downgrade or, or use a budget build this game. So I said, why not? I'll do the same as well. So what I did is I, I went to my, uh, what I call the Smash Up Cube. I named it that because there's a, a, a other card game called smashed up in which um the, the game is designed around mixing two tribes together so there's dozens of tribes of you know zombies or or plants and stuff like that and you what you do when you play smashed up is you randomly select two of those and you and you shuffle them together and that becomes your deck so i thought mm -hmm. that was a really cool game and i decided to try and bring it into magic the gathering so when the partners were revealed the original 15 i built half decks around each of them and made a cube that you just randomly pick two of the half decks and shuffle them together uh so i awesome. i just did that and, and got Rayhan and Silas Friend. Um, to make it additionally challenging, the entire cube is singleton, so there is only, you know, one of each removal spell, one of each fixing card in the entire cube. So Ooh. that made me, as a deck designer, have to dig really deep <laughs> in order to find, you know, effectively 75 removal spells that are, like, playably good. Mm -hmm. And that, I guess, playable is, is kind of an air quote. So budget. <laughs> good, yeah, and also budget. Each of the half decks are $25, so the combined deck is worth 50 and it's it's real bad. This, this is the one I jokingly say is around power level two or three on the scale of power level of a 10 10 point scale <laughs> but i love playing it and a lot of my friends love playing it too because if you get through a bunch of games in which you were playing a lot of competitive like high powered decks sometimes they need kind of an unwind with some hilarious hilariously bad match cards oh yeah so, <laughs> nice power oh, for sure game. yeah so yeah awesome. i drew silas uh, silas ren and rayhan and i do think these those do not synergize well at all so this will be fun <laughs> <laughs> yeah it'll definitely be interesting chris who did you uh switch to uh so i've switched over to to Elegith and Siani, two brand new partner commanders out of Commander Legends. And this is a $100 budget deck that we're actually giving away on the channel. Uh, we are giving away five, uh, five oh, decks. I was trying to be helpful. You were, you were ahead of me. You yeah. also... <laughs> <laughs> I gotcha. Uh, but we're, we're giving away five monocolor decks over the next couple of weeks, uh, all centered around uncommon commanders uh, and exemplifying the, uh, the color themselves based on the color theory series we've run over the past couple of weeks on the channel and this is our blue deck this is a uh, 100 budget uh, flying men deck we'll call it that synergizes around small flyers drawing cards and some control elements all uh, trying to show off what is solidly in blue's wheelhouse if you're interested in entering to win uh, this deck or any of our color theory decks you can check them out over on my channel clay and i both posted links to the video themselves so uh <laughs> head over there check it out and, and over the next couple of weeks we're going to be doing full builds on the channel so you can see what's in every deck why we chose those what the themes behind each of deck each of the decks are and friday we did our first full build on the mono white deck uh, danitha capuchin paragon mono white voltron deck awesome nice sweet and then clay you're running lathiel again yeah 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 i'm rerunning lathiel uh so we got to see a little bit of the the, like you know it, if left unchecked creates large creatures <laughs> fairly easily mm -hmm. um but yeah. uh otherwise is a is a pretty straightforward deck um we're still working to figure out kind gotcha. of where i want to sit with it power wise johnny thank you for the sub Bo. hey johnny, <laughs> johnny. nice uh Bo, how are you friend uh johnny everybody in chat if you don't know johnny is uh one of the hosts over at mtg lexicon definitely go uh check out their channel let's see here is it, it's underscore lexicon right I think it is. and then 
then Bo, Bass Boom Box in the, in the chat, is a uh, music streamer. She sings very well. Uh, and so you should check out her channel, too. Um, right. Bo, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Good to see you. Um, so I'm actually running back uh, Gabby here. Um, excited to uh, make some more tokens and draw some more cards. That's all, that's all I really want to do when I play Magic. So this, this, <laughs> this deck is perfect for me. Um, but yeah, awesome. Uh, so we uh, so Clay is going to go first. So Clay, you want to start us off? Absolutely. So I'll go ahead and draw for turn. Uh, I'll play a forest and I will pass. All right, draw here. Um, I guess I will start off with this tapped fairy stream and I will pass over to Shannon. All right, let's draw for turn. And then we will just play a swamp and pass. All right, we're going to draw. We're going to play an uh, island uh, and we're going to cast this mausoleum wanderer. Ooh, spirit. And I'll pass the turn. All righty, I will draw. Uh, I will play a planes and I will play an Inok Bondkin. Uh, another this is the one first of, strike one, right? Yes, another one of the plus one plus one counter lords. Counter lords, I guess. Yeah, I don't know, counter like, lords. Describe oh. them. No, but uh, yeah, uh, and uh, then yeah, I'll pass. Yeah, that's, that's that's kind of what I've always called them, and I really like the, that cycle of cons. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Um, see, let's play this planes. Sorry, I'm uh, playing tug of war with my dog. So, uh, <laughs> but he's so small. He's he's so small and disturbingly strong. Agreed. Um, <laughs> no, I know. He one hundred percent is. I think it's his center of gravity. It's so low. <laughs> see, you you say that, but like if you're on his same level, he's still. Just that's, because, that's because you powerful. can't physically get your center of gravity as low as he can. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, I guess. I guess. All right. And that's that's going to be it. I'm going to pass over to uh, to Shannon here. All right. Let's draw for turn. And then we'll play a uh, we'll play a Guild Mages Forum. Oh, yeah, thank pass. you for the follow. Magic Call 36. That. Thank you. Sorry, that's a pass? Yes. Yeah. Sorry, I was talking over. <laughs> Might be. All good. No worries. I just imagine you like prone on the ground trying to play <laughs> tug of war with this dog. And it's like literally dragging <laughs> you from room to room. <laughs> Like a five he's, pound. Like. <laughs> yeah, he's like he's like twenty two. I'll I'll pull him up on stream later, um, because he'll like he'll try to get up on the table at some point. But he's nice. he looks like a miniature pit bull. He's a very big big dog so, in a very small body. He's like if he's like if somebody like it's like a pit bull dash and mix. So it's just like a little pity, it's a little pity head on this muscular little dash and body. Tank. And he's tank got the like body. he's got the little like pity chest that like Paul yeah. like that. Yeah. And, <laughs> Uh, Chris, we're going to poke you for one. Oh, first blood. Play, play, plays the actual threat now. Uh, all right, I'll take one. Well, if uh, if Clay thinks to swing at me with his two, one, then... Ooh, he's got another thing coming. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All yours. All right, I will untap. Hello, buddy. Hi. Chris, do you remember way back in the day when uh, Caleb and I were playing and kept outlasting at instant oh, speed? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to say out, outlast is a great mechanic if they didn't restrict it to sorcery speed. Yeah. So when this was very being very new to magic, uh, our friend Caleb and I were just in a, in a 1v1 match and just like outlasting each other at instant speed and just kept <laughs> growing. And Chris, <laughs> over, like the game's never going to end. And Chris <laughs> was like, that's not how this works at all. We're like, <laughs> oh. right yeah uh, um it was a uh, we did an at-home cons post pre-release thing like we all got extra kits yeah. and did did sealed it at the house it's so good all right uh mm. i'm gonna i am going to go ahead actually since i was talking about it i am going to go ahead and outlast the bondkin uh so we're gonna throw a one one counter on it for striking now three two for striking now three two uh and then my land for turn i'm gonna play a selesnia sanctuary and i'm gonna bring this forest back Nice. And then I will pass to Chris. You don't have to discard? Oh, no, because you played a creature. Oh, yeah. See? Mm. I the, other way, the other way to get around it. I thought about playing it on <laughs> two and then discarding the forest I picked up. but I'm going to play this planes, and let's uh, let's just cast this Astral Drift. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> I like how you owe yes and I owe no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and then uh, I'll pass over to Shannon. I love I love this card. This card's really neat. How badly? Okay. It, only medium badly. That's that's rough. Okay. Draw for turn, and then we will play a forest, and we'll tap three to play a Rayhan Last of the Abzan. Comes into play with three plus one plus one counters, and then also whenever a creature I control dies or is put in the command zone, I can move plus one, plus one counters to another creature. Okay, I'm going to pass. All right, and uh, I'd like to take a moment on my turn and just uh, uh, say my appreciation for the art on these new sagas that they're spoiling for Cosmo. Oh, yeah. Yes. They yes. are incredible. incredible. Between the uh, the wood carving one and the one that they just spoiled, no, 
hold up a picture here. Uh, that's like a tattoo. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's, oh, that's so sick. Cool. Yeah. Look at how rad though that is. I like, had not caught that though. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. This set is metal AF. I love it. Right, right. Oh, God, that's fantastic. I, I love what they're doing and how they're experimenting with sagas as a new card type and everything. Uh, it's <laughs> it's great. I love it. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I am going to play an island and then I'm going to cast this propaganda. Ooh, okay. Yep. Uh, and then Clay, I'm going to poke your way now. All righty. I will take one. You wandered over here. Yep. And that's it for me. <laughs> well, knowing that you you need to pay to attack me now, I'm, I'm kind yeah. of willing to draw the ire. Alrighty. So I will untap. I will draw. Uh, I will, let's see, play the forest. And then, it's interesting. It's interesting. Let's go ahead and we're going to play uh, Tristani, Selesnya's voice. Oh, yeah, the life gain one. Okay. Yes. That's pretty good. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think there's only like two token generators. Like, uh, there's maybe three. So the populate probably won't come up. Yeah. Uh, but the uh, passive life gain, I'm sure, is the well, the like all yeah. you really need. <laughs> yeah. The passive life gain is really what we're hoping for. Here <laughs> uh, and then uh, I'm going to pass because all I right. have feeling that if I hit try to hit Chris, I'm just going to keep getting my creatures reset. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't want to do that. There goes all the outlast, right? Uh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, like, like, I'll just keep getting the counters replaced or reset. That's That feels yep. dumb. Uh, let's see here. It feels really bad, but I do eventually need a second blue source. I'm going to play this remote aisle. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to pass. I'm just going to hang out for a little while. Yeah, this is exactly why I didn't swing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Draw. Outlast, outlast feels so bad losing those counters. Yeah. I mean, not that I had a spell to play that turn so it's okay you know what i mean like i i, I didn't like lose a turn there um, mm-hmm. all right let's play a seat of the synod and then i mean if you if you cycle me you got me um <laughs> i'm gonna activate guild mages forum it says uh i may add one mana of any color to my mana pool if i use it to cast a multicolored creature spell it gets a plus one plus one counter so i'll cast silas ren giving it a plus one plus one counter sweet mm, okay yeah there you go okay um so beyond that uh i can't attack through propaganda obviously and there's almost no incentive to attack anywhere else. I guess you resetting Rayhan is not that big of a deal because Rayhan does come <laughs> back in with three counters anyways. Yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> and I doubt you're really going to waste a cycler just to stop three damage. So yeah, I'm going to go to combat stop three damage. and I'll attack you, Chris, for three. Christian. You were wrong. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Trap card activated. <laughs> <laughs> all right choose your partner right so three from rayon okay all right <laughs> all right and that'll be it from gosh that would have been so good <laughs> all right so we'll draw play this here island we're gonna cast siani siani is a three two flyer uh, whenever siani attacks scry x where x is the number of attacking creatures with flying uh you with other uh, number of attacking creatures with flying just that. So, okay cool, cool, cool. nice okay. awesome uh and then uh let's see uh shannon you're the only one that i haven't poked yet so let's spread that love yep i'll take the one that's from- cool that's it for me. All righty. We're going to untap, draw. Hmm. Does that change what we do? No, we're kind of at a weird day. We'll play planes. <laughs> Slesnia Sanctuary. Those bounce lands, huh? Yeah. I love them. I love using them in like land of all decks or uh, obviously Gabby's great. It's great in Gabby as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to, yeah, we'll go, we'll just go ahead and cast Lathiel. Surprised uh, face. Right. Uh, and so I'm going to gain two life thanks to Tristani. You didn't even uh, need to start attacking. That's pretty good. I, yeah, that's the save myself that step at least. Um, and then we will go to my end step since I gained two. We're going to put two counters on Tristani. Now Tristani right. is a 4-7 first seven strike. 4-7, that's Elish Norn stats. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. Uh, yeah, and then I'll pass. All righty. Let's untap and draw here. Um, do I want to wait... Feels useful. Um, oh, hey, Dr. Sleep, thank you for the follow. Um, you know, I should have watched that movie or read the book. I'll get around to it eventually. Yeah. I'm going to cast Fluctuator. Nice. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> nice. Uh, and un- the art on this always reminds me of the un- uh, unstable. Like the, mm-hmm. the. Oh, yeah. Contraptions. Contraptions. Thank unstable. you. Yeah. yeah. It, like, that's all, the only thing I can think of when I look at this. I'm just like, this is <laughs> an actual magic art. Like, that's, that's, that's a recorded card. 
Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to play another cycling land tapped uh, as much as I don't want wow. to, and then I will pass over to Shannon. All right, let's untap, keep, and let's draw. Hmm. Okay, that is a weird top deck, but let's consider going to combat. What are the options? Poking somebody with a Silas doesn't seem like it's going to be a way to make friends here. Getting no value out of it either. Okay. Hmm. Let's just go ahead and play a swamp of five lands, and then we will play ah, flyers. The flyers. <laughs> uh, we need to kind of ramp a little bit. So three brings that down. Okay. Uh, we will go to. I'm not going to keep picking on Christian. I appreciate that. I, I've played that deck too, and I have always like been <laughs> stressed at how slow it was to develop. It's like everyone's doing all kinds of stuff, and you're like, man, I really wish I could get all these uh, cycling triggers to fire. Um, yeah, I appreciate yeah, the sympathy. Yeah. We're going to do three, awkwardly enough, for this early Rona Disciple of Gix. So if I had an artifact in my graveyard or a historic card from my graveyard, I could exile it. But I do not. So now it's just a, a three minute two two. But for four minutes, I can exile the top card of my library, and I can cast cards exiled by Rona. So she's like a really slow draw engine. Oh yeah. I will pass the turn. All right. We'll on that, then we'll draw. I've always wanted to make a deck with her, uh, but I never got around to it. Maybe I will. Uh, all right. Sure. Why not? Uh, we're gonna pay five, uh, and we're gonna cast this gravitational shift. Oh, nice. <laughs> the uh, flyer anthem. Yeah. Uh, so creatures with flying, not just mine, all creatures with flying get plus two, plus zero. And then creatures without flying get minus two, minus zero. Okay. Uh, and no we're, going to, we're going to go to combat if there are no responses. Yeah, you're uh, no and, responses. And I am going to swing the Wanderer at Shannon and Siani at Clay. So I'm going to take five. And I'll take three. Yes. And, and I get a trigger first to scry for two. Yes. Before I get just yep. Will your scry change how much damage I take? Uh, no, it will not. <laughs> Now we're going to put one on top and one on the bottom. Not till that uh, if you were to scry draw instead comes onto the battlefield. Yeah, this is true. Yeah, that may change things. Uh, but uh, apart from that, uh, I'll pass my turn. Alrighty, cool. I will untap. I will draw. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Gravitational shift is... That's something else, huh? Yeah. All right. Let's play a forest. Let's... Hmm. So we are going to... A uh, white, white for uh, oh, Dax there it is <laughs> for Daxos, blessed by the sun. Ooh, hot Daxos, hot Daxos. So hot I'm gonna Daxos. Gain from Tristani. Uh, and then for three and a white, I'm going to play uh, loyal unicorn. Ooh, yeah, yeah, Vigilance uh, the team. Yeah. or wait, no. Oh, so, I, I actually, I'm so sorry. So, I didn't actually gain two life because of gravitational shift, and then I'm only gonna gain uh, I'm gonna gain two life though from da Daxos seeing the loyal unicorn. And the loyal unicorn's power being one. Okay. So I am at 43, but I didn't gain the original two. Um, gotcha. Oh, that's right. It's like the Dolman Gate. <laughs> um, and so... And Vigilance. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The loyal unicorn is very good. Um, do you have the uh, the rhino in there too? I one do. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that, yeah. Auto, auto include that one. Plus one, plus one. Yeah. <laughs> The, there was there was a game where I got them together and had much fun for a turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the board was wiped. Um, so I'm actually going. See, do I swing for two at somebody not crit? No, hey. it doesn't, it's got value. So because the, the my my commander actually has zero power right now, so I don't even gain life from Lathiel swinging people. Right. Oh uh, yeah, which is unfortunate. But so what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go to my end step. I'm going to take that two life that I gained. I'm going to put one one counter on the little unicorn and on Daxos. And that's my turn. Nice. Already spreading out the power. The power. Unlimited power. That's the goal. Let's do this in refill. That's no fun. You're playing to have fun? <laughs> so, I know. Sorry. I know. It's unusual for me. All right, it's the, <laughs> you guys are having fun? <laughs> that's going to have to stop. Tax. I'm sorry. Hold on. I played. This is the land I'm playing, and I'm playing a Cathar's Crusade. Okay. Oof. I played the. I put them on the battlefield backwards. I put the Cathar's Crusade on the land slot. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wait a second. I, I that's not right. For that enter the battlefield this turn. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then uh, that's it. Pass over to right. Anna. Yep. All right. Untap up, keep and draw out. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, let's play a land and then one, two, and let's use this guild gate to tap for 
three. We'll play at Jang Yangu Wildcrafter. Heck yeah. Everything's mana dorks. Yeah. And we'll roll mm-hmm. him down to two to put a plus one plus one counter on Rona. So we have three mana dorks. And don't think we want to do anything else just yet with that. Although Jang, Jang was just basically going to be a dead to flying men. <laughs> <laughs> plus one plus three man if we put a plus one plus a counter on a thing and maybe hopefully tap. I am okay like yeah. keep it. I, I got But no then problem. the breaks. Oh okay. Sweet. Oh awesome. Okay. Well in that case, I will just pass the turn then. All right. On to... Slip in that Silas Wren as revenge through propaganda, but nope. Sounds like <laughs> sounds we're like cool. we'll be playing cool. nice. Yeah. Pre preemptive uh, revenge, is that what that was going to be? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh we're gonna attempt to cast Elega. Yeah, no response. All right. Yeah, no, you got it. Okay, we're gonna move to combat. Uh, and I think we're going to do the same thing, uh, except that uh, Mausoleum Wanderer is going to go at Chris this time, and Siani's going to head at Clay once again. Okay, I'll take five commander. Five commander Plus. and three, three regular game, right? Uh, that's going to give me a scry of two, but since Elegith is out, I'm just going to draw two cards. Pretty good. Not bad at all. Uh, so and- does it replace the scries, or are you able to scry away bad cards drawn? No, it replace. Uh, nope. Uh, it is if you would scry, draw that many cards instead. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it still it replaces cool. the scry entirely. Uh, and I'm going to pass the turn from there. All righty. Untap. Do you have a crystal ball in there? Uh, there's one in the list, but I replaced it with an upgraded card in this one. Nice. Uh, yeah, the list that we're giving away definitely has a crystal ball in it. it and in my full build that's going to be coming out next week for this list, I call it a poor man's sensei's divining top. But, it, <laughs> but in this list, it's strictly better because it just draw two cards every turn. Nice. Mm. Uh, how big is Elegith? Uh, Elegith is naturally a five six, but thanks oh. to gravitation shift uh there is seven six. you need that elegant out of the way clay uh i mean just for i was thinking about trying to accrue some value but it doesn't really matter the only attack with two things through the propaganda so right and like well three uh it's a celestial sanctuary uh, yeah, it's true. like clay wants to dump all their mana into the, yeah, <laughs> the propaganda I, I, into doing a, a relatively small amount of damage um doesn't seem great so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna play a forest uh uh, green, 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 and three to play a uh, vigor. Oof. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wolf. Wow. All right. Um, so I'm going to gain five, turn to 43. Um, would that be four? Is there something giving it a plus one? So one from Daxos and okay. then four. Okay, yeah, yeah. Tristani. Yep, yeah, Oops. sorry, sorry. I should have explained that those were separate. Wait, uh, is, are you sure Trist- is Tristani power? I thought it was toughness, actually. Oh, it is. Oh, it um, is. okay, so I'm missing. Yeah, you're, I, I totally forgot. I was thinking back to your last turn and you were saying that nah, you fine. were not going to gain life due to gravitational shift. I think you gained two more. So I would have I gained, uh. Yeah, the unicorn and the Daxos would have both given yeah. you toughness more more. in life total. Uh, all right. Um, so because the loyal unicorn would have been three, and then Daxos would have been five. Ed, five, yeah, from the from devotion. Uh, yeah. yeah. So we'll say eight, and then learn to read our cards better. Um, but we'll go to my. So then we'll go to my end step. I'm not gonna worry about the, the counters from Lathiel though. Uh, and we will put two, or we'll put we'll put a one one counter on bigger, and then we'll put one on Daxos, two on the. Ken and one on Loyal Unicorn. <laughs> nice. All right. <laughs> it's okay. This is still just two power, four power. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Um, I'm going to play this island. Astral Drift can't remove uh, propaganda, can it? No, it's just creatures. <laughs> oh, that would be, that'd be you something else. Wish. Wish. <laughs> yes, I, I very much wish uh, either propaganda or gravitational shift. Either one would be a big boon. Yeah. Um, otherwise, I'm halfway to, halfway to dead uh, you're, and able to do anything about it. You're free to attack anybody you want. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes I can. I can. And it's true. Time walk yourself effectively. <laughs> further disadvantage the rest of the table. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna I, cast I mean, I can tell you. I've got no problem with that. Uh, while while I get while I get pecked to death in the air and drown under card advantage. Hi, buddy. Um, I'm gonna cast Gabby, and I think I'm actually gonna free cycle. Who do relax on? Um, I'm gonna free cycle this secluded step off of Gabby to draw my second card for the turn and uh, create a cat token or dinosaur cat from Sugar. Dino cat. And Pluto, relax. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Where's that noise coming from? <laughs> yeah. yeah, for real. 
real. All right. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's it for me. I'll pass. All right. So I'll be um, back. Bagheera, wave at Chris. Ah, oh, he took his head off before I get there. <laughs> uh okay i'm gonna at the end of his turn mm -hmm. okay yeah you tapped out so i doubt you're gonna counter these low these incredibly powerful spells like uh solidarity of heroes oh, yeah. doubling some Twice. i'm just gonna but effectively gonna do is double the counters on these three creatures right all right hell yeah untap upkeep and draw that is a thing when i was when i was new to magic uh launch the fleets and solidarity of heroes were like two of the coolest cards to me <laughs> <laughs> then I realized how painful it was to like pay for strive for yeah <laughs> more than one or two creatures. Uh, but with anything that doubles, yeah, even solidarity heroes, even if you've got to pay for it, the ways that you can get exponential with it, with a doubling season or uh, anything that adds an additional counter, like a hardened scales or a peer, it just it gets crazy. It really mm -hmm. does. Colonia uh, Hydra, that's the other one of my favorites. Let's roll this down to one to put an additional plus one plus one counter. I guess on Salus Red. Um, um, we could go to combat and swing through propaganda, but we're at Nig 2. Uh, what else do we got? A dino cat and then a huge army. Huge army over on Clavey's board. Ridiculous. Including a vigor, so oh, that's that's not even that's not even worthwhile. Um, so I think we could do this. So what is the average or what's the toughnesses on your creatures, Clay? I'm just, to, I'm just curious. Just, uh just so seven, six, right, because gravitational shift is only powered down, right? Correct. Yeah, it's only powered down. Okay. So seven, six, two. Two, seven, four, nine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Uh, we're good here. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I don't think I have any other plays here, so I am going to just pass the turn. It's a lot of mana to hold up if you're just passing the turn. Yeah. It's for the second solidarity of heroes. Come on. <laughs> 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 We're gonna they are that bad. They are that bad. <laughs> I've got this. Oh. We're gonna start off with a sapphire medallion. Okay. This is this is one of the uh, the upgrades that we're giving. Oh, I was gonna today. say. Oh, that's they gotta be tight on the budget to fit that in there. Well, that's right. Well, uh, so, what, what were the stretch goals? Thirty five hundred is for Nykthos. Thirty five hundred adds a Nykthos shrine to Nyx to all five decks. Uh, nice. Four thousand adds a medallion, the appropriate medallion to all five decks. Uh, and then if we hit five thousand subscribers on the channel. Uh, I am going to add a jeweled lotus to every deck too. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I could tell. I heard that sigh. Yeah, as you were was that. <laughs> yeah there, there's a bit of hesitation yeah. to that, but it, it it is a stretch goal. So yeah. <laughs> um, all right, uh, I'm gonna follow up this sapphire medallion with this eyes of the watcher. Who what now? Eyes Our, of the yeah. watcher reads whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you can Ooh. pay one. If you do, scry two. Oh no, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, That's okay. Good. I don't. Uh, this uh, this feels weird wasting it on a, on this. I'm gonna fierce guardianship because I don't think I can let you draw that many cards. That's what you're. I guess you did just played Gabby, so you didn't have that for. Okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, you you can fierce guardianship my eyes of the watcher. It feels really. It feels really bad, but I just can't let you. <laughs> I think I think so. After being our commander mechanic, Chris's like secondary brand is forcing premium removal on the <laughs> yeah. wildest shit. Well, we, we, yeah. on Eyes of the Watcher is a sentence that will never be said again. And <laughs> right, right. Car liberated, exiling Cliffhaven kite sale will never be said again. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, my my brand is making these weird cards surprisingly yeah. threatening. Exactly. That is, <laughs> I love that it. is my brand. Uh, Okay, so uh, so we'll go to combat from here, uh, and we are going to swing just to, uh, and we're going to swing Siani and Mausoleum Wanderer. Uh, and uh, Chris, you don't have anything with flying over there? No? Okay, so we'll poke you with the Wanderer and Clay. Uh, once again, Siani's coming your way. Okay. I mean, look, with all the life you're gaining, combat uh, commander damage has to be the way to go. <laughs> you, so. Oh, yeah. No, I just, like, I uh, and I'm going to scry two, which means I'm going to draw two. Nice, cool. Uh, and I'm going to end my turn there with a full grip of seven. Sick. So I will untap. I will draw. Anticipation. Yeah, just gonna <laughs> pay pay some mana and punch at me. I mean. 
<laughs> He's running the numbers. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to see if there's actually value. I mean, like, bef before I die, if I can actually impact the, the board state or the game state. Um. Well, you got two hits. It's 21 commanders. Yeah, it's true. Um. That's what Chris wants us to think. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't there a blue anthem that does flyers? It's like a... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Honor of the pure book. <laughs> <laughs> yep yep favorable wins oh, that's yeah. what it was yeah. favorable wins there is yeah Ugh. so we're gonna go ahead let's see there's also that um the paragon if you really want to dig yeah the blue paragon yeah the blue yeah, paragon right. oh that's not how tapping mana works i mean i i could always attack for non-lethal commander damage and chris could do something to put a plus one plus one counter on my creatures or shannon could put a plus one plus one counter on my creatures. good that's true uh, listen <laughs> i can only put more counters on a creature that already has <laughs> uh so i'm gonna play hotly Ooh. Radiant Champion. Um comes in with three loyalty counters. Um what's that? That's a pretty big pump. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm yeah. going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and plus minus six, plus six. I'm going to go ahead and minus one Watley, uh to give um what's the hardest hitting figure. So uh, I'm going to give Lathiel plus six plus six. Um, I'm going to go to combat um, and I'm going to swing Lathiel and Vigor at Chris paying the four. It's happening. This is a this is a six eight and this is a five seven um okay uh then we're going to pongify uh and i think we're going to pongify the vigor okay that so, yeah, I think that's because in the long run, the vigor is going to represent more counters on more creatures. Long run, yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's actually going to get shuffled in. Uh, but then the uh, the Lathiel is going to come through. I'm not going to block. And how much is that going to be? Uh, so it's six. Um, also of note. So let's see. Hold on. You mean to gain you six? Um, actually, hold, no. Hold on a second, because there's going to be more life. Um, oh yeah. Because Wait, there's more. Uh. I'm gonna draw a monkey in a second, um, but it's a it's a one three because of gravity three, shift. Three. Oh yeah, it, three, yeah, it's naturally a three three, but gravitational shift is raising right. that to a one three. Right. So I'm gonna gain uh, three and four life from that. So I'm actually gonna gain ten life, um, and we're going to go. So that's gonna be yeah, that's our end step. Um, so I've got ten one one counters to distribute. <laughs> yep. So we're gonna four. We're gonna two two. We're gonna do two. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if that's coming from me. I don't I'm not sure. Christian, can you me hear either. that too? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna put yours on. It might but... just it might be Chris. I'm not, I think I'm not sure if Chris muted. I'm not uh, well, I'm not saying anything coming from Chris's side. No? Weird. Can you can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Sounds good. So uh so two counters on the ape, uh and then that's my turn. Okay. Lathiel is just doing so much work. It's no, ridiculous. Sure. Lathiel slash the loyal unicorn. Oh, because the okay. vigilance. Vigilance well, and being able to like prevent combat damage to mm -hmm. my creatures. Yeah. Which is a bigger problem? Uh, is it the propaganda or the gravity shift? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yarn <laughs> looking at clay and they're 61 life? There's not a lot I can do about that. Uh, it's to death at the moment. So... <laughs> Um, I I think the personally speaking, the propaganda is a bigger issue. But um, I don't know how the rest of the table feels. Uh, power is not really like I'm, I don't have that many creatures, so power isn't really affecting me. And yeah, I think Shannon, this, I'm the same yeah. way. I think the propaganda is more detrimental. Yeah, I think you're right. the, uh, I'm gonna pay three, and I'm gonna cast Forsake the Worldly, exiling the propaganda. Ugh. Ugh. And then I'm going to pay four for a curator of mystery. I'm going to trigger Cathar's Crusade. And so the fact that I can hear it means it's coming from one of you three. I can't hear it now. No, I can hear it very yeah. faintly. It's Weird. almost like a refrigerator in the background now. Yeah. Oh, it is what it is. Um, it's, and I don't think it's too distracting, but um, okay, cool. So that's, I need to get in with the 4-4 four, four or the 3 or the 5-8. Uh, no, I think it's fine. I'll stay on the ground or I'll stay defensive on the ground. I will pass the turn. Okay. At the end of your turn, I'm going to attempt... Uh, an inspiring call. Hey, nice. Which would just draw me three cards if it were resolved. 
I got nothing for it. Nope. Okay. One, two, and three. And then let me just make sure none of those are well, that's interesting. Um, and then we will also activate Rona, Disciple of Gix, to exile the top card of my library underneath her. It'll be a Salvager of Ruins. Okay. And I can cast that Salvager of Ruins. I can't remember which one that one is. So sacrifice it to return a permanent from graveyard that was put there in the battlefield this turn to hand. Okay. All right. Untap and draw. Let's play an island. So we could resolve that big, big ends. Uh, but let's play this Joyra's Familiar. I love this bird. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's clear that that's not in the battlefield. And what is this card? Oh, must have been a new ad recently. Let's. So Propagand is gone, huh? We could, yep. in theory, keep dogpiling Chris, but I think Clay's probably got it under control now. <laughs> Looking at that board. <laughs> Clay, as a reminder, Clay is on board dead if Chris decides to play the like the pump. Like, no, you've got two turns. You oh, no. yeah, no, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, got to if, I, if I play the favorable I, wins that I showed you in my hand. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Clay is dead on board. No one knows. Um, yeah, okay. Well, yeah. So right now, I don't feel. I feel. I don't feel incentivized to like all continue to dogpile on Chris here. So I'm looking over at other Chris, Christian. Yeah. If that guitarist is so scary, I'm not gonna have a lot of opportunities to keep punching through. So let's get in while the getting is good. All right. Uh, we do have a. We do have a five five death torture. Yeah. Um, that's a weird stat line. We will go to combat, and we will. Man, do we need that for defense against Clay? Probably not. Okay. We will go to combat, and we'll swing five. Five at do you uh I could swing yeah, I could swing at, at Clayview as well. I am no out. I can't. I mean you can easily block and kill this thing with something. No, all those creatures are pretty good except for the Daxos. That's a two two like eighty or something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve. It's a four twelve. Four twelve. Or sorry, a two twelve. <laughs> a two twelve. <laughs> um all right yeah i'm gonna swing at at you clavy with uh, just five five silas man okay cool i will take five silas damage yep okay uh second is it, main, is it five after the gravity ship oh i'm sorry it's only three yep you're correct okay it's only three. Okay. three silas damage yep and then second main i will play three for an architect of wills each of you look at the top three cards of any player's library and put them back in any order i will just go ahead and choose myself right on i will be right back i'm gonna grab the dog okay reorder and place them back and then and I will pass the turn. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. <laughs> I like that card a lot. Uh, so Clay, it seems like I got you on the ropes here. I, if you decide to kill me, I'm dead. Uh, if I decide not to kill you, am I dead? Mm. I mm. Am not. Oh, oh. Um, <laughs> no, I don't. I don't have the capacity to kill you. Okay. All right. So we're gonna tap a single blue mana, and we're going to cast this favorable winds. So creatures I control with flying get. Uh, Plus one, plus one. Uh, we're going to I've go to art before. Oh, sorry. I said I've never seen this art before. Sorry, that's just very cool. Uh, so we're gonna go to combat. And uh, Chris, you have a five-five flyer over there now. Yep, looks like it. You're you're muted, Chris. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I do. The curator of mysteries. Okay. Uh, so Chris, we're going to swing at you with Elegith, who is now uh, an eight-seven, uh, right. and Shannon, uh, Siani, and Mausoleum Wanderer are going to come at you. Uh, okay, it's a total eight. Mausoleum Wanderer is four on their own. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. And Silas is six. A total of ten. Okay. Okay, and that's Good going to me. draw me three cards. And then Siana. So we're going to play this island, second main. Uh, and we're going to, for one mana, cast this Omen of the Sea. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Uh, which says, uh, when it enters the battlefield, scry two, then draw a card. So this is going to draw me three cards. I just ancestral. Yeah. And then that you can then pay three to draw another two. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> It's like imagine ancestral was better. Yeah, <laughs> I I don't think this ancestral is quite good enough. Um, and then uh, do you guys just want me to lose the game? Because <laughs> uh, uh, I'm pretty sure I can just kill myself right here. Are you gonna like uh, assemble some kind of scrying draw engine? That, like, uh, like yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but but I, I don't have a payoff for it, so it would just be I'm going to kill myself. Uh, <laughs> I'm curious to at least see what it is. Um, I am too, but you're also the only thing keeping Clay in check. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to pay uh, a blue for this Terramander okay. and a uh, blue for this Artificer's Assistant. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love Artificer's Assistant. Love it. Uh, and then, yeah, especially in this deck. I mean, it's just you cast an artifact, you draw a card. I love yep. it. Yeah. This uh, Artificer's Assistant. 
the bane of my Dominaria pre-release. Uh, <laughs> Artificer's uh, Assistant Javelin Beatdown is just yeah. so good in that limited format. Like jousting Lance or whatever. Yeah, like, that's I what it was. 3-1 flyer, and so I just died. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to move to my end step, and I'm going to discard this Skyclave Relic. Okay. okay. We will untap. We will draw. Uh, that does nothing, given... I guess it does nothing. It does little. But, hmm. All right, we're going to... A forest, and then white, white, and five. Uh oh. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> I uh, just had a martial coup flashback. There's no reason. No, I'm I'm gonna play a resolute archangel, um, which ordinarily oh, okay. works in this deck as a like a surprise thing with Lafiel <laughs> if yeah. I'm low on life. Uh, however, I'm way ahead, so I am gonna gain uh four life, five life from Daxos and Tristani. Chris got uh, a question for you in chat. Uh, uh, is Mystic Speculation in the deck? No, it is not. Uh, just one of those cards that did not make the cut. I'm going to plus one. Uh, Hwatley, which is they're gonna put a loyalty counter on for each creature I control, which is seven. <laughs> <laughs> so Hotley's gonna go to ten. What's her ultimate? Her whenever ultimate you, uh, whenever okay, I gotcha. a creature or whenever a creature enters battlefield under my control, I may draw a card. Nice. Yes. Gotcha. Um, That's a pretty good emblem. And then I, I just want everybody to know that now I can't kill Clay. <laughs> Uh, unless, unless, unless you can well, remove my singular flyer, yes, yeah, right. you you combined with uh, Chris has astral slide or astral drift, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It out of existence. At, at any moment. I like, um, so let's see. So we're gonna go to the end step, we've got five counters to distribute, um, or we're just gonna save time and put five counters on Resolute Archangel, who is an 11 9 thanks to gravitational shift. <laughs> oh, geez, <laughs> all and, right. I forgot about that. So yeah, it, it is a symmetrical effect, uh, which means uh, that uh, that Sphinx of yours is a lot bigger too, Chris. Oh, yeah, you're right. It is a 7-5. Um, okay, does that do anything for me? I don't think it does. Let's pay 6 and cast Boon of the Wishgiver. Nice. I'm just going to draw 4. Um, and with that draw, I'm going to get another... Dio Cat! I'm just going to trigger Catharsis Crusade again, if I can find the other cat. Double-sided token. Tokens are great until they're not. <laughs> these, these precons came with woefully few relevant tokens. <laughs> For sure. I was just looking through them. It's like I only have one angel token. It's not not quite enough. Well, even uh, last year's uh, Gearid deck that was all about populating, I think only came with two rhinos that Gearid makes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I do remember that being a huge issue. Okay. Because it's pretty do, rhino, right? Except... It's a 4-4 four, four with trample. Yeah, it's a 4-4 four, four trampler. So, like never been printed before. Yeah. That, that... Oh. And you think for... A, a deck all about populating you'd get a lot more of them <laughs> oh for sure um no i'll just leave this i'll just leave this up um do i hit anybody you can kind of hit Briss. you did hit me for a lot yeah I, gabby's I only a this gabby's only a four seven or four nine though um uh, so yeah yeah we'll we'll just pass just pass again my cards okie dokie let's draw for turn and then i think we want to do this three blue open scary <laughs> uh we'll attempt a duplicate Oh, interesting. Ooh. Interesting. Uh, okay. okay. R- results. Okay. Um, I'm thinking the big bad boy Sphinx. That's the draw engine. But I also just like when I see Clay's board, I my I just my eyes just roll. Like I they glaze over. I'm not even <laughs> sure which one of those is the most threatening thing. They all are. So there's not. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's it's not an army of like. There's more power on Chris's board than mine. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I can't do a shift. Like like what I'm saying is like even though there's a lot like um yeah yeah let's just stick with the plan let's let's exile the sphinx um the draw and elegant elegant sure sure so that that is a triggered ability that is on the stack yeah uh, so I am going to nimble obstructionist it okay nice Old okay friend. so this will just yep. be it have no input to cards so it'll remain a two four uh, and I will draw a card from the sky. Or sorry, from the cycle. Is it looking at a two four or a zero four? Thanks to gravitational shift. Yeah, it, it is in zero, zero four. four. <laughs> yep. Um. Okay. Let's play. I believe this will be free. This metalwork colossus. Uh, cost X less to cast for X. It's a total CMC of non creature. Oh, non creature artifacts. Whoops. So that's in fact not free at all. And I need to learn to read the cards. That is not even close to free. In fact, it is full costed. Uh, don't you have the seat of the synod? <laughs> yeah, it's CMC is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, CMC. so it in fact does not discount metalwork velocity at all. 
Um, all right. So then let's go to uh, combat. We have a 4-2 flyer. And Chris, you have a 1-1 artificial assistant. And what's the other thing behind the artificial assistant? Uh, they're, they're both 4-2s right now. Oh, because of all of the anthems. Yep. And the and the, unfavor- the uh, favorable winds only affects your flying features, correct? Favorable winds is just mine, but gravitational shift is everyone. Okay. So I have a 4-2. You have a bunch of 4-2s. And then I have a bunch of chaff on the ground. So we'll go to combat and we'll attack you with this 3-3 three, three, and this Silas Wren, which is a 5-5 five, five death toucher. Uh, okay. Uh, so all together, that's eight? Yep. With uh, five, Silas, five. Silas is oh. a 3-5, right? Uh, yep, that's correct. Okay. Uh, so, so uh, sorry, what, what was the first creature as well with gravitational? It's a 3-3. Three, three. It, oh, sorry, it's a 1-3 as well. You know, you keep forgetting gravitational shifts. So in fact, you're only facing down four. Don't hit okay. this. Uh, I'll, I'll take four damage. Okay. Uh, and uh, that's two Silas damage? Three, I believe. Three. Yep, okay. it has three plus one plus one. It has a base two, so it's five. Yep, so three Silas. Three Silas damage. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and then we want to just roll this thing away. We have one, two, three, four. It's not enough, so we should tap. We're going to play a Winding Constrictor. Ooh. Tapping this and this to cast it. And then we will... Do I need any more of that mana? Do I ever want to cast it? Metalwork Colossus? This? Not really. Let's go roll Jiang to death and put uh, two counters. Uh, winding Stretcher will increase it to two. We'll put those two counters, I guess, in the stories from there. It seems like flyers are really relevant in these, these games, so mm-hmm, mm-hmm. if I have one, might as well make it big. And then I will be done and pass it. Okay, okay. I will untap. I will draw. I'm going to play this here island, and then I'm going to tap this here island, and then I'm going to cast this Scour All Possibilities. Oh. Um, scry two, then draw a card. So I'm going to draw yeah. three cards. It's oh, that's so like the new building. That's stupor. There we go. There, Scour All Possibilities. And it's oh, got a flashback. Yeah, pretty cool. And just, you, you said it, and I just saw Chris shed a tear of <laughs> pure envy. <laughs> I love I love Scour. Uh, all right. Uh, so then we're going to... Uh, do we just... Uh, do we just finish clay off don't think so don't think that that's play uh okay uh so we're gonna go to combat uh and we you've got a four two over there yeah i have a i have a well yeah four two oh i'm sorry are you asking me yeah shannon four, um, four two uh, is my flyer is a six four due to gravitation oh, right you're right six four okay flying craw worm all right uh because what craw worm was missing was flying <laughs> yeah uh and chris yours is is a five uh, uh, six. Six. Eight. 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 Oh man, this gravitational shift is now hurting me as much as <laughs> uh, all right. So let's see. Uh I think I I need to do it. I just need to see more cards here. <laughs> I just need to draw more cards. That's it. Yeah. Uh and that artificer's assistant is again how big, Shannon? Uh, six. Oh Joyra. It's yeah, six four. Joyra's from there. Joy is from there. Six four. Okay. Um, so Shannon, we're turning the two commanders sideways at you. Uh, and Chris, I'm turning the three one ones sideways at you. Okay. And so each of those are four in the air? That's correct. Uh, and then, I, Shannon, you're facing down a, an eight, seven, and a six, six, three. Okay. Draw me five cards. Six, three, and an eight, I I, seven. I think I block the Mausoleum Wanderer, and I take the eight. Okay. Um, I will block, I guess... I can mitigate the commander damage, which I have six of, and it'd be another six to be 12. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to block your Sienna. Okay, and that's what they're going to trade. Yeah, and I'll take uh, eight, you said, from the other? Yes, you'll take eight Elegeth. Yeah, one, two, six, seven, eight. And I have drawn a lot of cards. Uh, but still haven't gotten there yet. So we're going to tap a blue for a Zephyr Sprite. Uh, we're going to tap a blue for a Cloud Sprite. This is a lot of a lot of flyers. Yeah, yeah. I think this is a flying men deck. Uh, and I think we're gonna tap two for this warden of Evo's Isles, which is gonna make my mm. co- my flyers cost one less. Nice. Uh, then I'm gonna move to my discard, and I'm gonna discard a bunch of cards. One, two, three, five, six. Eight. Uh, we'll go one, two, three, four cards discarded. And uh, it's all yours, Clay. All righty. We're going to untap. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll draw for turn. Oh, that's weird. I don't remember putting Tramp of the Hordes in here. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> oh, boy. No. Um, I just, well, I just realized, uh, based off the card that I just drew, that uh, I have not had a card hit the graveyard. 
I know. It's been a weird game of stalemate. Right. Yeah. Um, it's just very, very bizarre. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to minus eight Watley. Yeah. You get the emblem. Um, um, playing to oh, get so when a, the gonna... creature enters the battlefield. Under yeah. control, you draw a card. Yes, that's correct. So tokens as well as cast. Nice. Um, and then we're going to three, four, five, six. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna cast uh, Slurk all ingesting. Oh, <laughs> okay. yep. Um, so Slurk enters the battlefield with five one one counters. Um, so I will gain six life thanks to Trestani and Daxos. Mm-hmm. Uh, nice. Um, Man, I need to put that in the Rayhan. I wonder how expensive it is. Uh, not super expensive. Yeah, I, I guess get, it's an uncommon. I was able to get the edge foil for pretty reasonable, so I'd assume the regular one is uh, awesome. Excellent. Uh, the the edge foil one is uh, awaiting the Slurk and so- uh, Sakashima build. Nice. Which is why, why I don't. <laughs> Work in Shima. Yeah, uh, just Simic oozes. All the Simic oozes. Um, so let's see. Can't give Lifeling. Lathiel is still an O2. Um, I know why Lathiel can't buff itself, but I've won it to buff itself. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know. I thought you, for some reason you weren't choosing to do that. I didn't know yeah. how to cause that prevents yeah, it. Yeah, it, it, it just has to be other creatures. Okay. Um, most notably, actually, doesn't limit to creatures I control. Yeah. Interestingly enough. I, <laughs> uh, it feels like that. Politics. Be- Lathiel yeah. politics. Lathiel politics, I guess. Um... And then I don't like I guess I could like I guess there's no downside to swinging because of loyal unicorn but I don't know uh yeah because it's it's basically indestructible when it attacks and it has vigilance yeah um, so yeah it's it's either gonna right. claim a, a creature or it's gonna start eroding some life totals down yeah, and because they don't because and then they have first strike um but I think this turn we're just going to um, try the uh, the Resolute Archangel at um, Chris. Which Chris? Chris Mechanic. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, we're going to throw the Cloud Spray in front of it. Sure. All right, cool. And then um, that is my turn. Oh, oh uh, right. Sakish, sorry. The Slurk uh, counters, we're just going to go, because we had but six of them. So we're just going to go one, 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 and one. There we go. All right. Wow. Okay. I, I find it amusing that the car, the Cathar's Crusade is, is, it's doing an okay job, <laughs> but not even close to what Lathiel's outputting here. Right. Not, exactly. even, not even a little bit. Um, yeah, if, if I didn't have Tristani, I wouldn't have any. Yeah. It's <laughs> or, your like, only first draw. Or, yeah, like, yeah. Like Tristani and Daxos are actually like doing all the work. Yeah. Um, play this command tower. Um, and I'm going to play this. Is it Signet? Is it? And it is. It is. Yeah. Um. And uh, tap two. And then another one for this commander sphere. And then pops it to draw. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I am thinking about it, but I'm gonna cast something first. I'm actually gonna cast. Uh, That's usually all uh, commander spheres do at like turn eight. Yeah. I'm gonna cast this chasm skulker. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, dang it. I was like, yeah, I don't have an island. This isn't right. <laughs> um, get the gunners off. Yeah, itself gets yeah, Chasm Skulker gets the gunner. Yeah, thank you. Um, and then I am going to sack the Commander Sphere to draw a card. Since it's the second card I've drawn this turn, I get another di- uh, Dinosaur Cat. Um, and that's an, a draw trigger on Chasm Skulker. Yep. So Chasm Skulker is going to end up getting two counters eventually. Easy as cats. I'm going to do with you. There we go. All right. So counter on Chasm Skulker for the draw. Uh, and then and counter on everything else for the Cathars Crusade. See, this is why I love Cathars Crusade. Like, yeah. it's, it's so like good. You got, you got a cat? Add five, six power to your board. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You, you don't need to go wide because it's instantly making your board tall. Yeah. Um. And let's see what I drew. But if you go wide, you break arena. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the old uh, anointed procession, Cathars Crusade, uh, Skeet Swarm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and it was just like the the, the client was just like, no, peace. <laughs> take another game action. You're still putting counters. I can't take another game action until we <laughs> resolve the stack. <laughs> yeah. So I can't really hit play. Cause I could attack Shannon here, but we're both pretty low. I don't want to do that. Um, I just realized your life total clay. Nice. Yeah, that's uh, sorry. I said I, I hit it earlier, but uh, <laughs> I think it was a little too subtle. I got it, but I'm painfully aware of that. So. <laughs> um, I guess we'll just play this because I've got it. Uh, I don't think there's going to be a point in this game where I need to crack an elixir of immortality, but uh, hey, I start look, cycling through my deck. That's yes. why. That's why I started laughing. I got confused about I didn't have a graveyard yet. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> 
no cards to shuffle back in it. Yeah, me, me neither, basically. Um, but okay, uh, giving me five counters. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pass. All right, untap and draw. Mm-hmm. Let's pay two for a golden egg. Uh, that'll just ETB to draw us a card, and then we'll play a land for turn. And this duplicate says zero for uh, excellent, excellent. Excellent. <laughs> I appreciated it. <laughs> no, I'm also realizing that I'm. I thought like I ate before the stream. I'm getting very hungry. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna play Blood Tracker. And... Huh. All right, uh, and and I'm going to do something entirely hollow here. So don't take this personally, Shannon. Okay. Uh, I'm going to condescend the Blood Tracker, which is going to okay. count for it unless you pay one. Thanks to Sapphire Medallion. Uh, okay. It does let me scry two. Nice. That makes sense yeah i'll pay the one i'll draw two cards and let's see so we have a little bit in the way i'm at 18 okay i am going to let's see if the silas attacks it could in theory have recast a joyra but i think we're needed on defense now going forward so man the boards are just insane like looking across everywhere it's mm-hmm. crazy all right i'm just gonna go ahead and pass okay at the end of your turn i'm gonna flash in this spectral sailor as well okay does not that oh that can tap things down no, no it, this one draws cards oh, okay i'll untap and i'll draw oh yeah it's one of the ones that's like infinite mana draw you, you can draw your entire deck yeah sweet. but that's uh that's nothing to worry about i promise <laughs> oh, but I, I always love to find the one like creatures where it's like ah oh. <laughs> uh okay 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 wow y'all got nothing real good huh <laughs> uh like the the board is just so gummed up right now yeah it, it really is uh, all right. uh, well, we're going to cast one of the spells that's not an upgrade and not in the original list. We're going to cast this Alhamarit's Archive. Oh, nice. Oh, jeez. Which is, yep. this is one of my all-time favorite cards ever. Oh, yeah, that's, it's definitely... Uh... Who doesn't love to draw more cards? Exactly. Or and gain, gain more life. More life. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So the good. Whole, whole basis of the Omnath deck. <laughs> uh, but that's, uh, that's going to trigger this Artificer's Assistant, which is going to draw me a card. Yep. Yeah, Artificer's Assistance on cast, right? Not a DB. Oh, that's on cast, yeah. Okay. Uh, whenever you cast a historic spell, scry one. Uh, we have not cast one of those, so we are going to um, think we're going to uh, recast Siani. Yeah, recast Siani for just four mana uh, because of both Sapphire Medallion and Warden of Evo's Isles. Nice. Pretty good. Uh, but Siani's scry trigger is only when Siani attacks, so I'm not going to get to do anything cool right now. Uh, but I am going to pass the turn. All right. Um, before, sorry. So in your second main, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. before you go, uh, I'm going to actually uh, populate with Tristani to make another <laughs> ape. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. yes. You got the token. Um, so I'm going to gain two life from the Tristani and Daxos. I'm also going to draw a card off of Watley's emblem. Uh, sorry. Uh, historic spells are legendary. So I'm going to draw two cards off of the Siani cast. Okay. Just for reference. Yeah. Draw. And then um, end step, I have the Lathiel trigger for the life gained. Put two counters yeah. on the new ape. And then we'll go to my turn. Chris, after that that two draw, are you sold seven? Uh, yeah, no, you're, that's a good point. I have to discard one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have to discard two cards, so two islands. I got ready. So then go to my turn. Let's draw for turn. Ooh, alrighty. So we're gonna start off. Uh, one green white to play, and Chris, I don't know if that'll pick this up, but Miri Weatherlight Duelist. I can get another one. Okay, that one's pretty good. It doesn't make it like so. When uh Miri attacks, each opponent can block can't block with more than one creature. Uh, as long as Miri is tapped, no more than one creature can attack me each turn. <sighs> um, so I'm gonna gain two life and draw a card. Yep. Uh, from Huali. Ah. Uh... Let's see land for turn we're gonna go ahead and we're actually gonna go ahead and activate Shasani now populate again another one okay yeah. making another one uh i will gain two life bringing i need to keep track of this for total life that we've gained this turn i'll draw a card from Watley. uh let's 
pay four to play one of the cards that I'm really excited about in this deck. And I don't know if it'll ever actually end up being good. But uh, I'm going to play Mindless Automaton. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, so there's Battlefield with two 1-1 one -one counters on it. You pay one, discard a card, put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. You can remove two 1-1 one -one counters to draw a card. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, so it's going to, I'm going to gain two life again. I feel like with all of the plus one, plus one counters you're throwing around, something yeah. like a Triskelion with lifelink <laughs> would be... <laughs> Uh, would be a little yeah that'd be awesome the last thing i'll trigger is every turn or at the end of uh, every end step oh yeah that'd be a great way to burn people yeah. really quickly so, so you, you dump all of the counters off it and yeah. the end of turn you put that money back on it yeah <laughs> all the counters off it you put that money back on it yeah um then let's go ahead and um doesn't Triskelion have like an infinite line with oh maybe not uh, what is it isn't there the new helio helios heliod uh, yeah yeah if oh. you do Triskelion and heliod uh god of the sun heliod mm. can give the Triskelion life link and then for every life you gain you put a counter on something so you right so it becomes an infinite off. machine gun that way too yeah you pull a counter off deal a damage gain a life heliod puts it back on and you just machine gun all right um so everybody has jumpers. Uh, so I'm going to minus one Watley. It's still <laughs> alive. <Jeez>. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> to give a second emblem, man. Just go for it. <laughs> so you know what? You know what? Let's do that. I'm going to plus Watley instead and go to 14. Uh, and then going to go to my end step. Uh, Lathiel is going to trigger. Uh, I'm going to put uh, two one one counters on Miri and four one one counters on the mindless automaton. Hell yeah. Disgusting. Handle pass to Chris. Alrighty. So tap here and draw. Uh, you know, that's not off. Um, I'm going to free cycle this irrigated farmland. Oh, hold on. Well, I have a, for my turn draw, I have a Chasm Skull trigger. Mm -hmm. Free cycle mm -hmm. the irrigated farmland to draw a garden. Uh, this gets me a dinosaur cat. And another draw trigger on Chasm Skull. Yep. We're going to go up and then we're going to get a Cathar's Crusade all the way down. Uh, all the way down. <laughs> just just wondering if I, do I just like shift them down or whatever? No, it's, uh, so six. <laughs> Is five, this economics <laughs> <laughs> yeah two and one um i'll never be able to get rid of play ever <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to figure out like how do we ever kill clay <laughs> the only way to kill clay is to talk chris into <laughs> killing chris clay can't, 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 chris can't get by the resolute arc and, and, and i can up. i can yep. get by the resolute arc yep well you can talk to chris uh, you chris is gonna yeah. get together on that then yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, you, you can slide out the Archangel, right? Yeah, so I think we'll have to do that eventually if you're willing to kill Chris, or to kill Clay. Because uh, if that Miri starts attacking... Uh, yeah, we're all... Yeah, yeah, I think, <laughs> yeah, I think when that Miri attacks next turn, probably you and I are dying, Chris. Yeah. Actually, so, either of you. I'm not really sure, like, one block against that board. No, no, that doesn't save anybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but he has to be cautious of the crack. No, he doesn't. They all have vigilance because that stupid unicorn. Yeah. Yeah, he can just instantly kill at least two of us. Yeah. Is this an overrun? <laughs> <laughs> Is Miri, 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 like do us an overrun? <laughs> um, so three, okay. Um, I'm going to pay three. Well, let's not tap the only red source I have. Well, I have two reds. Um, that will come back to bite me later. Um, I'm going to play this abandoned sarcophagus. Okay. So I can cast non-land creature, or non-land spells with cycling uh, from my graveyard. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, I guess just spells. Lands don't have some, aren't um, okay. And if a card that has cycling would be put into my graveyard from anywhere and it wasn't cycled, I have to exile. Uh, so, so if that astral drift gets destroyed, it's exiled? Yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, which would not be good. Um, but the yeah, answer is have to take. Completely hypothetical. Completely, yeah, totally <laughs> hypothetical in your mono blue deck. Uh, Unstable. Not, not terrifying. <laughs> the only thing that I can cast in my graveyard at the moment is Forsake, which isn't. No, uh, he's not, but he's going to make me lose. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, that's it. That's the only thing that I can do is take Clay down first and then figure it out later. Um, so I'm gonna, huh, Clay. What's up? Hmm? Oh, nothing. Uh, actually, wait, hold on. Um, he's running the numbers. Yeah, I'm looking at the, I'm looking at, I'm looking at my Chasm Skulker that can attack this turn. I'm like, do I just swing it into Clay? Uh, Clay won't block. Clay will just take six. Shannon? I don't know. I mean, Clay doesn't, uh, also, Clay doesn't have any islands, so it's not worried. Well, no. That is a lot of Cathar Crusade triggers. <laughs> that's yeah. what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. If you, yeah. If you swing me with Chasm Skulker, I will kill it for you. If you don't Astral Drift my restaurant. <laughs> 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 
I don't know if, yeah, I don't know so if that's worth it. Board up harder. Yeah, I don't know if that's worth it. You can um, have a bigger board. A board that can almost compete with my. Actually, you'll have, I think, more bigger creatures. Yeah, I think it was five. five yeah. You'll so, have the biggest board. Think of um, the three. The squids when was the last time you got that, that many squids i know uh, if i send it over at shannon shannon will probably just jump yeah or block with silas if you block with silas great um i have no. an island so i am not interested in killing your cat <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and i imagine i imagine chris isn't either i'll pass play i'm not okay. gonna take you up on your offer all right, so it sounds like there's a plan, I guess, to deal with 77 life humongous board. There, I mean, there, over there. there is a plan, and then I will go feed my animals and and yourself, hopefully, too. Right? Yeah, you said you're hungry. Hopefully, hopefully. well, uh, mm, a bad merfolk looter. I'm excited. One, two, and three. Actually, you know what? I can't do that. I need to produce another flying blocker. Let's do. Let's leave a black open. We'll do seven for this God Pharaoh's gift. <sighs> yeah. There's only one creature in my bin, and it's Joyra's familiar. Nice, but now you get a four-four Joyra's familiar. Yeah, with six-two. <laughs> oh, yep. or six-four. Yep, it's I back to Crawworm stats. Yeah. <laughs> so we will go to combat, and it'll trigger God Pharaoh's gift to exile this. I'll use it temporarily, but it's a token. Sure. So, um, and this will be a 4-4 four, four instead of a 2-2. Two, two. And then gravity shift will make it a 6-4. It think does have fine. haste, but I'm not <laughs> interested in dying. So I don't think it'll be attacking here. Every day I um, marvel at the fact that God Pharaoh's gift is not legendary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is weird. As an opponent loops the God Pharaoh's gift with the... Um, what is the art? What is the artifact that searches for it? Um. Oh yeah. You know what I'm talking Gosh, about. I can't yeah. remember it yeah. now. I can't it's remember gates the name. something, right? Oh, gates of the afterlife. That's the one. Yeah. yeah. That's what it is. I, uh, every day when I face the uh, the Emery decks that like loop, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. loop Doctor's yeah. gift of like gates of the afterlife, and you're just like, oh wow, this is this is incredible. You have three of them now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm not gonna do anything else here. I'm 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 hoping that you know some things will happen in the next turn here. So I'm gonna pass to you, Chris. Okay. So we're gonna. Tap and we're gonna draw. So Chris, we're we're in agreement about about this plan, right? I guess we didn't seal it in with like a handshake or whatever, but uh yeah, yeah. I mean if you wanna if you wanna drift that angel right now, then then we'll go ahead with that. Okay. So I have to drift it I have to drift it now or do you want to wait till the combat? No, nah, I'd like you to drift it now. Uh, you you want me to drift, drift it now? Of there to be. <laughs> I'll free Some drift kind of off of Gavi this drifting meadows. Great. So mm -hmm. we're double drifting. I'm gonna draw a card off. <laughs> Tokyo drifting now. Yeah. Yep. I'm not wearing my initial D shoes. Uh, <laughs> and I will uh will will drift the uh the angel. So uh return it to the battle. Uh, okay, go ahead and then we'll talk about it. Oh, I'm just gonna take counters off the mindless automaton to draw. Oh, it's a draw. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay. Um what's the green uh free if your commander's in play card? Isn't it just a fog? Yeah. Oh gosh. And the red one's a redirect, right? Like mm. yeah, deflecting swat. Finally, green got shafted in, in one cycle. <laughs> right. Uh all right. Oh, oh man yeah so if uh if the archangel is drifted out uh, i'm gonna go to combat and i'm just gonna turn all of these guys sideways at clay how many cards are you drawing <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. So I'll draw fourteen cards. <laughs> I mean, you know, just just saying, uh, you did not say you wouldn't drift out the draw engine. Uh, that is that, that is that, true. You could do that, Christian. You could, I you didn't, could drift out the draw. I'm I just throwing that out that. there. Okay. Uh all right. Wow, there are a lot of islands in here and absolutely not the cards that I wanted to see. <laughs> Wow. Uh, okay. So uh, I've got this Nykthos, so I should put it to use, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, so first we're going to tap a blue, and we're going to cast this Soul Ring, which is going to trigger the Artificer's Assistant to draw me two cards. Uh, then we this Soul Ring and uh, an Island to pop this Omen of the Sea to draw me two cards. Uh, oh, come on. Um, let's see. These are things I like to hear them on Boo players say when they have to use a draw right. like, uh, like so. 14 plus cards. <laughs> three. Uh, so we're going to tap three and we're going to cast this inscription of insight, mm. uh, which says scry to draw two cards. Oh, Omen of the Sea draws me four cards. Oh, yeah, because yep. of the archive. Yeah. Archive or, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to cast this inscription of insight, which says scry to draw two cards. So this is going to draw me eight cards. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, is this the Sequence of events, the sequence of events where you kill yourself. Or? Uh, uh, yeah, 
Yes. Uh, I mean, <laughs> knowing knowing what you've got over there, I am 100% killing myself right now. Uh, so I'm going to tap two, and I'm going to cast this Laboratory Maniac. I hey. see. I like it. You yeah. got an out, but can you, you draw out. the rest? It looks like you have, I, I can't, I, mean, I guess it's, it's a tough. We're gonna, uh, so gonna tap I'm those. guessing you have 30 plus, 30 to 40 cards still. Uh, in my hand? Uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm in your library, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to tap this Nykthos Shrine to Nyx to add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 blue mana by mana pool. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast this Curator of Mysteries. Yeah. Uh, which says whenever you uh, cycle or discard a card. Oh! Draw oh, dang. Uh, try one. Yeah. Big fan. Uh, yeah. So that means you probably got it, right? Uh, well, without, without spot it, removal on, on Lab Man. Yeah. If Chris slides out Lab Man, then I kill myself rather than win. Oh, that's, that's hot. Great. That's hot. This is magic at its finest. I'd, had, I'd, I'd have to have drawn another cycler off of that cycle. Um, so I'm going to well, use another three of that, leaving me with six blue mana to cast this Stormwing Entity. So when it enters the battlefield, scry two. So I'm going to draw four, two, four. Yeah. I guess that's kind of like an infinite loop right um because you're discarding to hand size which triggers yes it's the, the curator to draw as, and then you have to redo the cleanup st step again so it, it's the same principle as uh the cdh get rog monster combo where you gotcha. uh discard a land to draw a card then discard dredge that to oh yeah back, uh, yeah that's right yeah so. And then you, you keep going through that until you get through your entire library or until you mill or discard a uh, Eldrazi type to loop. Uh, let's see. Um... What else do I have in my hand that's going to scry? Uh, throw, so I've got th six blue mana left. I'm going to use three of that to cycle a mold drifter. Yeah. Which is going to draw me four cards. Two, three, four. That's going to leave me with three blue mana left. You also draw off the curator, right? Or it's evoke. No, sorry, it's evoke. Not yeah, that's evoke. So it enters the battlefield and then I sacrifice it. Uh, yep. That wasn't discarded. Um, oh, come on. Uh, what else do I have to scry with? Uh... I got zero of my redundancy is the issue. Um, so yeah, and you don't have counter mana open anymore either. Uh, well, it's, I have I have three mana floating. I'm going to use. Yeah, one. but if you go to end step to just dump your hand into the lab, yeah, it, it all goes. Yeah, uh, you're yeah. going to be vulnerable. Yeah. Get, so him, get him, Christian, to uh, to uh, play this Essior. Look, spells uh, or or just spells? Okay. Yeah, oh, and uh, commanders. It just commanders. So, uh, but uh, because of Artificer's assistant and this is legendary, I'm going to scry two. It's going to draw me two cards. Oh, and there it is. There's my redundancy. Um, but it's not going to matter because uh, I'm going to die. Uh, I am going to cast with my last two mana this Thassa's Oracle. Oof. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Uh, and my devotion to blue is one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. To scry. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yep. So, so that's it. That's to draw the, list, the rest of the deck. All right. Well, uh, it. Christian, slide both of them. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter with Thassa's Oracle. Yeah, because it's all part Thassa's, of the resolution, right? Yeah. 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 yeah Thassa's Oracle is yeah. way better than my man in that. Uh, even if you kill it, he still wins. Uh, so so, well, I mean, it, like, it, it, it is an ETB. So, Chris, if you countered this right now. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, only things that I can do. Yeah, I got to I got to I got to look for it. Um, I'm going to free cycle this cast out. I have one out, I think. And I'm would gonna, you like to? I owe my I'm, lab man. To I'm gonna drift, drift the lab man. Yeah. Um, oh man, this is gonna be insane. Strong. Uh, okay. Now you I have to scry. You scry off of your raider. Yes. Before um, the draw. Before the draw. Thing is, is yeah. this is another cycler, so it only gets me one, one down. I, 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 again, I would like to remind you that I had a devotion of 19 and yeah. 15 cards left in my library. The so only like devotion by five, then Thassa's won't win the game okay that's true um or the only other out that i have is a nimble obstructionist yeah and hot um okay so all right so let's let's talk about it. lab man was one devotion so now that's it's right. down to 18 that's right with 15 okay. cards in my library yeah so i need to get four more that's right so the so two of my creatures with double blue casting costs like elegant yeah. entity okay so i'm gonna keep the cycler i'm gonna cycle a desert of the true for 
for one and a white. Um, and I'm going to get curator, I think. Yeah, get curator. Oh, no, curator. No, wait. Uh, yeah, curator's fine. Yeah, yeah. So now I just need two more. Yes. Let me draw here. Now, uh, you scry. You also scry, I scry. again. I, I, I keep would it. also remind you that these are going to return at end step, and then I'm going to go to my cleanup. Yeah. So these are going to come back in, and I'm going to get my loop with the two of them. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, which is which is part of the problem. Which means you have to no. slide. You'll have to slide the lab man again. Yes. I'm going to have to slide, to, to slide the lab man again. I believe I'm, in you. I might be able to do it. Oh, I am geez. loving seeing this. It might happen. It might yeah. happen. This is, this, is right best, this is the best part of magic right here. Yeah. Don't forget to tap your is it signet before you uh, end up with it being the last rock and no way to pump into it. That's what I'm thinking about right now. So I know that, so this is the card that's on top. I know what it is. Um, if you I still draw have the, it. You still have two draws. You have draw from sliding the desert or One, the original two, three, thing. Uh, we got it. 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 I'm going to, so I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw this card on top. I'm going to pay four. So I'm going to activate the is it signet and the command tower and i'm going to flash in cast out using the abandoned sarcophagus ability cast spells that have a cycling ability for my graveyard mm -hmm. i'm going to oh, cast flash, out right? what's another thing with two pips uh storm ring entity elegath storm ring entity is the only thing that i yeah because i can't counter the i can't pay for the the other thing so storm ring entity is what i'm going to get okay so storm ring entity is going to be casted out okay and so now you're at how much uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen with fifteen cards in my library let me count again is that counting the um thassa's oracle itself the thassa's oracle it is yes okay okay cool all right then i'm done okay so thassa's oracle Ooh. is going here well hold I'm on oh. your devotion is 14 you said yes but isn't it all just doubled by elmerite's archive the draw the draw power uh, but none of this is draw none of this is scry yeah oh, okay. look at the it's top just look card. oh it's just look okay so i'm going to look at these 14 cards and not this one <laughs> i'm going to put one of these 14 cards into my hand and the rest on the bottom of my library now i have no mana left i have absolutely nothing uh christian you also draw did you ever actually draw your card from your first cycle i don't think you did i did yeah, because I cycled that. Um, oh, right. I you cycled, cycled, cycled it again. Yeah, you drew into the cycling spell, which you just yeah. But that does mean that I have a cat entering the battlefield with a Cathar's Crusade trigger. Yeah. Roll them up. So I'll just, I'll, we'll just do that right now. Uh, and then I'm ready to move to my end step. So whenever you roll them up. Uh, and don't forget your, all of those draw triggers for the squid. The squid. I'm going to do, so it's two draw triggers for the squid. Uh, I, did, I didn't do you. Did I do you? I did. Uh, and you. And then the Cathar's Crusade trigger for the squid. And you. You. And you. Cool. So you're going to your end step? Uh, yes, I'm going to go to my end step and these two are going to return to the battlefield then i'm going to move to my cleanup and discard uh the majority of my library <laughs> right uh at what point can i drift the okay mm. so be, it has to be at the beginning of your end step right after they enter the battlefield uh after they enter the battlefield before i moved my cleanup or because this is a trigger on curator of mysteries you can wait for me to discard okay for the curator the yeah go on the back and then slide out lab camp okay yeah then that's what i'll do is i'll have to i'll wait until all the triggers are done and then on the last one I'll slide out lab man okay. with a so I'm going to hang on to an arbitrary number of these cards and discard the rest mm -hmm. and that's going to give me a bunch of scry triggers so you're going to respond to the scry triggers by the cycling out the lab man yep I'm going to tap the remote aisle to cycle a lonely sandbar I'll scry for the curator and I will keep that on top and I will draw I'll tick up okay. the passage. and then all of these curator of mystery scry triggers will resolve drawing me twice X cards and I draw from an empty library and since I don't have lab man out I die. Wow Ooh. that was some impressive sliding there Christian. Gee. <laughs> yeah, no kidding you had all we of the ammo on that holy i know I, went, I, I was cycle 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 yeah i got real lucky it, yeah because i remember the default deck only ends up having like 14 to 18 cycling cards or something like ridiculously low it was annoying but anyways um dang okay. and uh yeah I, i'm dead so it's all you chris yeah all i'm right. staring at that board now i'm like oof i think this might be over <laughs> math Speaking is for blockers right? um, oh gosh one two let me see how many blockers i even have Four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, okay, I do have nine, and I think you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight attackers. No, I can't oh, make one of them. One of them is not an attacker, too. Eh? Yeah. Well, let's see. Um, can I cast from my graveyard? If not a lot, and cast a command sphere. That doesn't feel good. <laughs> 
<laughs> do you have any cycling cards left in your library? In my life? Oh, I definitely do. I definitely do. I'm going to tap this remote aisle. I'm going to play this Azorius Chancery to bounce into my hand. Oh, yes. Yeah, so good. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to free cycle online. the remote aisle. Um, okay, so this, sorry. I forgot the draw turn for the Chasm Skulker. Cycle the remote aisle. I'm going to scry. Put that at the bottom. Draw for the scry. Leave that on. Yep. Okay. So this is the draw trigger. Chasm Skulker. So I have a blue floating with that blue i'll play a soul ring and oh i have a drift trigger uh what should i drift the joyer's familiar i think i should drift the joyer's oh yeah uh, yeah that's yeah. a token it, you can't charge yeah. a token, right? yeah it is in yeah. fact a token it just destroys it uh, exiles it so let's drift that um and then since that was the second card i drew this turn we get cathar's crusade triggers all the way down uh with thing i'm officially out of dice so i can't get any more creatures uh that's how so, it works that's how magic works right that, that is exactly how it works <laughs> um, okay. Never mind. This chasm skulker is too big. I have to get a, one of the one of the spin downs. Upgraded to a D twenty. Yep. We have made room for dice now. Uh, and okay. Cool. Let me so, kill. Um, I have to drift. How many creatures to kill you? Enough. Um, um, let's see. What's your weakest attacker? Three or sorry, four. Okay. So four plus five plus six is fifteen. So at least your four weakest creatures we need to get through. Okay. Um, then I will pay a blue to. Sorry, I'm sorry. I need to pay a red to cycle this Forgotten Cave. Scry. Put that on bottom card. Ooh. I mean, I'm drawing it, but I'm not going to test it. Um, Astral Drift. I'm going to get rid of Rayhan. Yeah. Uh, and then let's see if I can... So I have remaining this. six blockers. Yeah. Um, well, let's see what I can do with this. I'm going to pay uh, six. I'm going to tap the Izzet uh, Signet, and I'm going to recast Boon of the Wishgiver. <laughs> nice. Um, which gets exiled, unfortunately, but I still get to draw four cards, uh, which is four triggers off, or on the uh, the Chasm Skulker. One one, two, three, four. Let's see if I find another cycler. Um, oh, I can't cast you. <laughs> Why can you not? Uh, well, you're sort of mana, I guess. Oh, wait, I can. Four. Oh, yes. The soul ring. Thank you. All right. Yeah, you have four. You have four. Blue, tap the uh, tap the command tower for blue uh, planes. And my last card is going to be an Aven Wind Guide. Ooh, what is that? All my creature Should tokens change, have flying and vigilance. Ow. Ouchie. <laughs> Could you have my, yeah, oh, okay. That's yeah, uh that's a hell that's, uh, that's gonna be it. Ooh, all right. So we'll cathar our crusade all the way up and down. Flying blocker, so the math just got a lot easier. Um <laughs> you can just swing with all of your cats and I die. All right. Not let alone the rest of your board. So I am definitely Ooh. dead to th Awesome. All right. Good, good, good game. Right. That's a crazy top deck right there. Ooh. Yeah. Cycle top um, it was, yeah, I, I drew it off the boon. I was like, I had a couple of cyclers and a psychosis crawler, but I think I'm glad that I drew it. Yeah. I love, I love this yeah. card. I love this card so much. It's so uh, crazy. I, I don't remember that card. It's from Mom and Kit. No, that yeah. Sense. The, uh, the embalmed. Ooh. Man, do I, would I even have had a board wipe? I, yeah, I was definitely dead. If you didn't kill me that turn, I don't think I could have drawn any, into anything in here. If, if, if I, if he had a board wipe, I would have gotten a bunch of squids. Uh, yeah, that's the problem too. So I did have a board wipe the whole game, and it's this terrible one because you know budget and all that. But um, it's this. I need to put like a real one, but it's this one in here called Fine and Finality. The most yeah. finality is neg four, neg four to all creatures. You know how irrelevant that was this game. It only affected. <laughs> It only affected Chris's flying men. It did not affect yeah. either of you all because of Cathar's Crusade and or just Lafayette things. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Fine, fine Finality is one of uh like one of my least favorite cards out of Ravnica because I lost my boards to that card and so many times. And then with Fine, they'd be like, oh, I'm just going to get a Carnage Tyrant back. And it's like, no. <laughs> yeah. And you were mentioning earlier in that match, it's like, wow, nothing has died. And I kept looking at the, at the Fine part of it and I'm like, yeah, yeah this is uh, relevant. <laughs> I feel like I feel like there's some part of the one of the decks designed was to at least loot because I did draw into a deal broker which right. is like a really bad Merfolk looter. I was joking about it. Yeah. It's a three mana, two, three that can discard a card to draw a card, tap to draw, discard a card to draw a card. And I was like, oh, that's how I'm supposed to be stocking up my graveyard. <laughs> Forgotten how Silas was built. Anyways, it was still a really good game. I, it's really cool to see. 
that much sliding going on to no kidding. beat a blue player. That was crazy. Ooh. Yeah, I I had to hit I had to hit gas every single time. And you uh, did. That's great. I did. I got lucky. Um, that was good. I actually I really like that that elegant deck that you've got that elegant Tantiani deck. Yeah, that thing was rocking. That was Rock awesome. So many cards. Like I'm very excited. Yeah. I think I I think I have like four entries, <laughs> <laughs> four chances to win. So yeah, I, got, yeah. I got my fingers crossed. Absolutely. Absolutely. And anybody watching, if you want a chance to win this deck or any of the other monocolored decks that we're giving away uh, this season on the channel, uh, head on over to my YouTube channel, check out the contest video. I'll paste it again into chat here. Uh, but there are multiple chances to win. If you follow us on Twitter, if you enter, comment on which deck you want to win. And if you are a patron, you get additional chances to win too. So uh, plenty of options plenty of chances i think currently let me just check the stats on this uh just from youtube comments alone we've got over 300 entries uh oh, wow. and over 1,000 followers on Twitter entered too, along with 25 patrons. So um, nice, people trying to win. Oh, yeah, I didn't that black one was Sir Conrad. Oh, oh yes, cool. wait till you see the full build. Yeah. Yeah. Check out the deck list description of this video that I've linked to. You can see all of the cards and all of the decks that we're giving away. They are spicy lists. I I kept them to a hundred dollar budget to begin with, but they are going to upgrade as we hit sub goals on the channel. Uh, but all of the decks, even at their base power level, are are fantastic yeah awesome um I'm, I'm excited to see to see the other videos and uh hopefully uh, i'm not sure the next time you're gonna be on but hopefully you're on again in the next couple of months and we'll we'll see we'll get to see some of those before the uh the giveaway is over when does it end uh we're doing the draw february 19th so you've got okay. a good month to enter at this point awesome okay well uh that was that was a lot of fun um so shannon do you want to tell us a bit more about about your cube like how often do you get to play it um not not very often and, um, it, it's a little out of date too, but I've been kind of at least I at least check in every once in a while to make sure it's still budget. It used to be the case that um, the card the cards that were in the cube were increasing in value over time, so I had to keep removing stuff. But more recently, it's starting to take a different a trend where every time I check up on the cube and the list to make sure they're twenty five each, then in fact they are like closer to twenty now, so they have some room for upgrades. But uh, yeah, taking uh, I mean I've challenged myself originally when there's only fifteen, but now they're they're they've just released how many new partners the monocolored part. Partners. So hmm. that's, that's a kind of daunting to undertake, but I said, why well, you not? Know, why not? It'd be a fun deck building challenge. So I've been looking into uh, brewing the lists for all those. But I mean, we're, we're going to be spread really thin because the entire queue would be singleton. So those 61 decks, I mean, there's only going to be one Pongify in the entire cube. <laughs> so like, Blue is going to be strapped for removal pretty soon. It's going to be using Unsummon and Vapor Snag as, as premium removal in, those <laughs> lists, in some of those lists. So it'll be a, it'll be a tough challenge, but it, it gives me something to do because I always love to just, just brew list so um but awesome. yeah right now in its original iteration each deck is 25 dollars. so the entire cube is worth about 225 dollars. so it's fun i have all the lists online too if people want to take a look at them um a lot of them have gone through revamps over and over again because um you know usually when you look at a list like a kiri it's very obvious that you should be building a voltron maybe like a light equipment build but you can imagine how quickly that falls apart when it gets paired with another half deck that has nothing to do with artifacts <laughs> or equipment and you're like you have yeah. an akiri and then it's spell slinging like you have like you know a burn spells or something or like your file smasher so a lot of them have gone through a lot of iterations and they kind of got normalized a little bit more over time to just be kind of more good stuff and less fringe builds um but uh i've been having a lot of fun with it and i would highly recommend anyone i actually think somebody proposed the idea to saffron olive too so i sent him my list too i was like hey check it out you can use this as a basis and, you, and i can kind of tell you the the problems i faced building it um when you undertake it yourself so uh yeah you can check out for him what he's going to end up doing uh when he, when he tackles the issue as well so sweet awesome yeah very neat um and so uh, i guess we'll, we'll just go ahead and roll into outro so shannon where can people find you oh uh, yeah you can find us on youtube at the trinisphere we're also on twitter the trinisphere as well um we don't post that much but uh we're getting back into it especially with kaldheim so uh once again our channel uh always features a timmy giant spike playing and brewing so you can see you know each of the different styles and uh, you'd be shocked how many times spike loses um everyone's just assume spike will always win but uh truthfully oh, uh, spike what usually gets two play more. what's that he said oh that's what the letters on your play mat are yeah yeah <laughs> Tim the johnny that's like so yeah i am always as a johnny always trying to brew just just zany builds build decks the wrong way the, the non-obvious way and then um we have a spike who's 
pretty much playing, you know, turn one, seven mana rock stuff. And then Timmy, who just loves playing the newest, coolest cards. So um, be sure to check out our deck techs if you want to see, you know, which ones that you align most with or get some deck building ideas. Um, and our gameplay is when we uh, smash all these lists together. Awesome. Right. Yeah, sweet. And uh, Chris, I know you talked a bit about where people can find you earlier, but uh, you want to do it again? Yeah, sure. Uh, so I'm Chris and I'm your commander mechanic. Uh, I've got a commander advice channel over on YouTube under that same banner where you can go check out viewer submitted tune-ups and deck techs and deck building advice. We're going to have a Kaldheim EDH top five coming out next week once we get the full spoiler. So look forward to that. And of course, we've got this contest ongoing. And every Friday, I'll be releasing a full build video for one of these decks. Uh, so you can go and check it out. The white full build was just released on Friday. This blue full build will re be released this coming Friday. So if you want to know why cards are included in here, uh, as well as what the whole game plan is and the ethos behind these decks, go check it out. Awesome. Thank you. And Clay, where can people find you? Uh, uh, as you can see in chat, uh, you can find me on Twitter and Twitch at MTG underscore Clayby. Uh, otherwise, uh, though I sometimes guest on other people's stuff, you can just find me here with the CNC as the same <laughs> regular. You're a regular now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a founding member. That's, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how that many times Chris tries to disenfranchise me, I am still a founding member. <laughs> <laughs> yep uh, unfortunately uh but uh <laughs> wow <laughs> uh love you buddy uh yeah, and uh, yeah so the digs are getting harsher I know. yeah <laughs> uh, been too long um soon eventually maybe um but uh yeah and uh thank thank you all for being here this was so much fun always always a pleasure to play with each of you and uh, uh got to see a bunch of a bunch of neat decks a bunch of neat concepts uh and uh yeah so uh thank you all uh actually let me see before we just head out here let's see who's on so we can raid i should have been doing that during the outro yeah uh, we, we can raid uh chase chase Manicur. is playing yeah, yeah yeah chase chase is probably still let's make some sure uh, cause... some some friends playing in that one too uh, i think she's got quad nines on as well as uh okay chef nathan is on too. Yeah. yeah awesome okay well then let's actually i'm not seeing oh there there she is okay yeah I wasn't seeing her in my sidebar, so I was like, where? Is she still going? All right, so we're going to raid Chase here. Well, Mana Curves, tell everybody we said hi. Uh, and, you know, say something nice about their, their setup, their camera quality, their decks, anything. Um, but, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see you all over there. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Bye, friends. Take care. Bye.